Hello and welcome to Uskol Harry's Dear Science Department Physics Demonstrations. So in the previous video we looked at alpha particles and we put some paper in the way of the detector and we found that some of the radiation was stopped by the paper and we've said that that was the alpha particle because the alpha particle is quite large and chunky and easy to stop. The beta particles, they're a bit more energetic and the gamma rays can pass through so we were still detecting them. So the setup is exactly the same as before, but this time I'm going to put an aluminium sheet, several centimetres, sorry, centimetres, several millimetres of aluminium. And I'm going to put that in front of the detector. And we'll do the same experiment again. We'll do it without and with, and we'll compare the two readings. So I'm going to reset and press start for one minute. So we'll let that run for one minute, and we'll see what our initial count is. Now the aluminium is uh, denser than paper, it's a little bit thicker than the paper that we used. So I think you'd agree that if paper stops alpha particles, then the aluminium is going to also stop the alpha particles. But we'll see if it stops anything else as well. Alright, so we're halfway through and we've got to 26 and we had originally, I think it was 55, didn't we, in the previous video as our sort of starting point. And this does demonstrate the slightly random nature of radiation. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And I made that about 56. So it's about the same. So, but check on the video. I made it about 56. You may say it's something different. Okay, so I'll put in front of the detector now a small piece of aluminium. I'm going to reset the clock, a reset the clock, and I'm going to press the reset on the counter and the clock together, and we'll see what the new count is. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Clock's running, counter's running. So because the aluminium is thick and it's denser than paper, we would expect it to stop the alpha particles, and indeed I'm sure it has. But I don't know about you, it seems an awful lot slower now, doesn't it? I'm sure that's slower. So let's have a look. In fact, we're nearly halfway and we've only got up to 9. There we are halfway, we're only at 11. So the alpha particles have been stopped and there's one other particle that's been stopped. Which is the next particle or ray you think will be stopped? Which is the next most penetrating? And hopefully you've remembered it's the beta particle. The beta particle is actually a little electron, but it's a very fast-moving, energetic electron. Two, one, zero. And I made that 20. Okay, so that was 20 counts in a minute. So the aluminium has made quite a difference. That stopped the alpha and the beta. But 20 is still more than the background radiation that we had. So what is actually getting through that aluminium then? It stopped the alpha, it stopped the beta. So what's going through? All right, have a think about that. And in the next video, we'll look at the final radioactive element.